hey Erin, I just watched your video and I really liked what you had to say about the um, two little videos that we had to watch. Um, you went back and you talked about um, how the counselor was talking about um, her parents' relationship and how that really plays a big part in um, the Adlerian theory, just to have an idea about um, where she came from and things like that. Um, some of the focuses that they really focus on in this um, video were love and work, and then there's also community within the theory, but um, love and work were really the main focuses that the counselor focused on. So with love, he focused on marriage and relationships and you went through all of this. So I'm just kind of like restating what you said. Um, so the love was focused on marriage and relationships and then work was obviously her job. And I liked how you said that um, he was questioning her about or not questioning her, but like asking her questions about her job and things along that nature. Um, like how she liked work and um, how it makes you feel and things like that. Um, they talked about things that focus on family. So, um, one of those things is, um, oh, sorry, I'm reading my notes. So, is how she is now versus, like, what um, parent she is most like. So, they kind of talked about that, and um, that's really what the Illyrian theory focuses on, and we kind of talked about that, you know, with the relationship with her parents. But they talked about um, what parent she is most like and the values and things like that. So, that was one part of it. Um, and I liked how you went into detail with that, that, um, area. Um, so something that you really talked about that I don't think I really thought about was, um, Gina has to look out for herself, so she has a hard time letting people in, so she has to do, you know, her job by herself, take care of her kids, you know, she went through a divorce with her um, past husband and things like that. So, she really has a hard time um, letting people in. And I don't think I really thought about that. But um, I like how you um, said that because it made me think of something that I hadn't thought about. Um, I like how you said that the counselor is, like, peeling back layers to get to know her better. I just like that. Um, you said peeling back layers because every layer you see something different and she opens up a little bit more and, um, he was just doing that to get to know her better and to help her let people in and maybe, you know, not have such a hard time letting people into her life. So, um, I really liked how you said that. Um, let me see. Okay, so something that you also talked about was having a sense of community and belonging because um, according to Adler, if you don't have that, you know, then it's challenging for you and things like that. So you talked about that a little bit, um, that you need that sense of belonging and community. And I feel that she has that community and belonging at work. Um, I just don't know. I don't think she has that with relationships and they're working on that so and you pointed that out by pulling the layers back let's see so the counselor challenges Gina so I liked how you said it could be hard for Gina I like how you pointed that out it's not gonna be easy for her it's gonna be hard for her to open up and let different people in and for her to talk about things so I really liked how you said it's going to be challenging for her um because you're aware of how hard it can be um um one of the last things is um Adler Adler is um he focuses on you know a warm community or environment when he's talking to the clients and staying calm and everything like that so you said things like when he was 
kind of calling her out. Um, he just stayed calm and he made it not seem like he was calling her out. It was just a very calm um, environment and it made her feel better and not feel as bad as um, if he actually was like, you're doing this wrong and this wrong. He just stayed calm and it was an inviting environment. Okay, and so one of the very last things I really like that you said is that you, um, how you brought up the birth order. So yeah, they didn't say that in the videos, I don't think. So I would like to know that too, like if she's a middle child or anything like that, because in the textbook, there was a big section on, um, you know, birth order and things like that. So I think maybe that could help us find out a little bit more of why she is the way she is and everything like that. So anyway, I liked hearing what you had to say about the videos and everything. Um, yeah.